the second annual Agent 2.0 Global Innovation Summit. Tremendously exciting to be here. We've got over 500 people from 15 countries around the world. Really getting to bring together investors, entrepreneurs, senior care providers, and older adults themselves for a day full of talking about innovation and aging. Nobody even had this dialogue two years ago. It's unbelievable to see how quickly it's moved and how dynamic the problem is. America is the greatest country in the world to be young and a horrible place to get old. And this conference is about changing that legacy and making it easy to age gracefully with all of the services and tools and love and support that you need to go into your golden years as happy as you were, as enabled as you were when you were 25 years old. We wanted to do something that could reach seniors in mass and help them stay in their homes longer. It seems like a great opportunity for us to connect with uh, senior services providers. There are some best practices out there and we want to learn it quickly. And I think the best way to learn it quickly is coming to the event and really have a chance to interact and network with all the key leaders from different parts of the world. It's completely different than anything we've seen in senior living to date. Katie and Stephen and the Aging 2.0 in general have brought all these technological elements into the fold that never were there before, and so it's refreshing. We're currently testing a couple products from last year when we did the same conference. So this year, we want to find a couple more, one or two more products to test. The innovators begin to understand the problems more, and so the products keep getting better. We also have tech-savvy seniors, we're calling them, in the audience. So people that we've invited especially to come in, we've been giving them a clipboard and getting them to go around the startup showcase to to provide feedback. We have the senior living providers, we have uh, in-home care providers, we have distributors, we have technology companies. So we're terrifically grateful for our sponsors. And together we just have such a rich array of, of expertise and innovators who are saying, you know what, I believe in what you're doing. Keeping focused on the why and on the consumer experience and letting the technology be an enabler, not what's leading, I think is really something that came through strongly today and something that we want to continue to reinforce with Aging 2.0.